Hey everyone, this is Kristen with Living Able. Today I'm going to show you how we're going to take down this shower curtain here for it to be washed and then hang it back up again. Now most likely if you're stumbling upon this video, you have this shower curtain and then you have these rings up here. So I'm going to show you how to resolve this issue today. Now the first thing is going to be to not use these rings. Now I'm going to show you what you should use instead. Now there's a couple of things that I want to tell you about before we go ahead and take the shower curtain down. As you can see with my shower curtain here, I just have the plastic outer shower curtain for both well, both my outer shower curtain and my inner curtain are both plastic. Now I know most of you probably have a plastic inner liner and then some kind of linen outer curtain. So that's mainly what we're talking about. But if you're both plastic, you actually don't even have to take the shower curtain down. What you can do is either spray on the shower curtain, whatever you're going to use to wash it, which would be your trusty mop. And that will work both for the outer liner as well as the inner liner being plastic to get to the inside of the liner. Pull it like this, grab my mop, take my mop, and go like this. That's how you get the plastic. And it is going all the way up top. But most likely, you don't have both plastic out aligners, so you need to get your shower curtain down. So here's what we're gonna do. Like I've already said before, these round circular hooks, they're just working against you. So you wanna use something different and I'm gonna show you what you're gonna use. As you can see, I did get my, sh my shower curtain down. I literally busted off the old rings. I pulled on them, they would bust off. So that's how I did it because I knew I wasn't gonna use these rings anymore. Once you wash your shower curtain, you're going to want to switch out the rings. The kind of ring that I would suggest that you would use would be something like this. Actually, it hangs like, it hangs like this. Now some of the hooks, you have to take them and open them up a tiny bit for them to fit onto the rod. Take it like this. The hardest part of figuring out how exactly to hold the hook with your reacher to hook it on. Alright, so now that we have all of our rings up over here. You want to make sure all of the holes are punched through. I'm going to move one at a time. Grab my reacher. Here's the hole. Putting it on the the back piece. There we go. Grab the bunch like this. The hole is right there. The hole isn't always all the way punched. Easily punched through on this one. I'm going to punch through it with my grabber. Alright, so. There's number two. 
Now, if you do hook the one on the end, you want to make sure the rest of your hooks are already, you know, on this side of that hook. Otherwise, it's really kind of pointless. So, I'm just stating that because I've done that before. I'm two hooks short, so spreading out my hooks in these holes here. So, there we go. That's the one side. Alright, so now that the inner liner is on, the outer covers should actually be pretty easy because these rings aren't being so flimsy because they're held down by the one side. So, so the plastic ring is going to be able to go right over top of the piece it needs to go on. That. Oh yes, these metal pieces are great. The metal pieces certainly help, so I would keep that in mind. One thing that'll help is once you have your inner liner on, put it inside the tub to get it away from the outer liner here, because if this part is you know, coming out of the tub, it's more likely to push another ring off while you're trying to get the next one on. So, the rest of the of the curtain is in my lap, so it's not pulling so tightly like this, so it's able to be looser and move move more easily. You want to get the metal piece to bend in towards the hook that's going to help you know whether you're grabbing it right with the with the grabber you don't want to grab it like this and have it being you know facing out this way because you're trying to go this way bend it the way i want it to go there you go Now taking it off with these other rings is a lot easier than with the circular ones. So taking it down will be no problem. Once you have these rings on, push them off. I want to send a thank you to Sandra Husick for requesting this video. Uh, you really made me think because I had not thought of even taking down the shower curtain uh, to make a video like this so thank you so much anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and to share have a great day